Sarah? Well, Ravi Shazia Khan says her daughter went to great lengths to inform building management and security that her estranged husband should not be allowed to the building because he was a security threat. Yet last summer, he was able to slip by security and gain access to various floors with a building rental agent. Just Sania Khan grew up and was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee. She went on to graduate from the University of Tennessee Chattanooga where she double majored in psychology and women's studies. She started her career as a social worker and advocate for low-income families. Later, she became a flight attendant to support her desired career as a photographer. She managed to turn her passion into a living by initially becoming a lifestyle photographer. She built a website showcasing her work. The high-quality photography skills and effort she would put into the shoot spoke for itself. She wrote blogs and made the website friendly and personal. Let me see you. Sonia met her partner on a dating app and she married Raheel Ahmad in June 2021 after dating for around five years. They had a huge Pakistani wedding. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl sh As her job was easily done anywhere she moved to her favorite place, Chicago, with her husband. From outside looking in, Things between the pair couldn't have seemed better but things began to take a sinister turn. The happily married life, Sonia had always wished for, started to unravel that it had been built on lies and manipulation. To start with, Raheel lied about his age, stating he was 30 when in actual fact he was 36. Sonia's friends also mentioned that she had changed once they got married and her husband would have mental breakdowns and threatened to kill himself. But before they got married the incompatibility was unclear and somewhat masked by the fact the time they was together before was a long-distance relationship. Then after they was married, the issues and different views started to quickly arise. Raheel became possessive in trying to control what she wore, who she was going out with and who she talked to. Her friends were taken back as they didn't see someone so strong, energetic and independent being manipulated or controlled by someone. During the time she was married, she became the traditional wife, she cooked for him and cleaned whilst he studied. Her personality seemed diminished. This went on for some time. Eventually, Sonia confided in her friends that she felt uneasy and unsafe around Raheel and that he suffered from mental health problems. That he would often not sleep and acted strangely but refused to seek help or get therapy. With so many issues between the pair, some of her friends told her to leave the marriage however, due to her cultural background some of her friends, family and community told her to stay in the marriage. December 2021 Despite the backlash from family members and friends she may have received she decided to divorce Raheel. As expected some of Sonia's family members rejected the fact of divorce and in some of their words she, let the devil win, and some threatening to take their own life over it. Regardless, she was ready to be free. Start of December, the police were called to the apartment. Where Raheel attempted to commit suicide and take Sonia with him over the balcony.
She was vocal about her struggles and it was to empower other women in similar situations. She done this by posting videos on TikTok and labeled herself as the black sheep in her community. Her TikTok channel was like some video diary where she would share her journey and what she planned to do moving forward. Users who were watching her videos began to love her and she had gained over 20k followers. However, due to the topic of divorce in her culture it is mostly forbidden and women should be silent if there are issues in a relationship and divorce shouldn't be an option let alone vocalizing it online. May 2022 The final divorce hearing was set to be in August 2022. Raheel moved to Alpharetta, Georgia, while Sonia remained in Chicago during the process. Due to the nature of their relationship Sonia also got a restraining order against Raheel. July 18, 2022 Sonia was in high spirits as her friend Gabriella was arriving and she was ready to move with her back to Chattanooga into an apartment they had chosen. Despite not being invited, Raheel drove around 11 hours to her apartment in Chicago in an attempt to salvage the marriage. Gabriella arrived in the city but didn't know the address and couldn't get through to Sonia and nor could her family or friends. Sonia's mother, Shazia, called 911. Police arrived at Sonia's apartment. She was found lying unconscious on the floor with a gunshot wound to the back of her head at the scene. Her estranged husband was also found with a gunshot wound to the head with a Glock 9mm and a note beside him. He was transported to the hospital and later died. Sonia's story and videos on TikTok gave many the courage to leave abusive relationships. Statistically, when a woman decides to leave a controlling man, is one of the most dangerous times in a woman's life. Due to the manipulation and it often takes many times for a woman to actually escape. Not only is this case devastating as there is no justice, as Raheel decided to take his own life. On himself. Knowing that he killed her after, you know, going from out of that elevator. The hardest thing. 28-year-old Sonia was Shazia Khan's firstborn. Khan believes her daughter would be alive today if building management and security at 211 East Ohio Street followed apartment building protocols. If they had run her, her, his name through the system somehow, and they would find out that you know he was not allowed in there, and my my daughter would be alive. Sonia. She personally told the management employees that under no circumstances should, should Ahmed be allowed into the building because, again, she feared for her safety. But on July 18th, Ahmad was allowed in the building. Video obtained by the law firm Taxman Murray, Pollock and Beckerman shows Ahmad entered a secure area with a rental agent without his ID being checked. According to a lawsuit filed against building management and security, Ahmad was carrying with him a garment bag containing Sonia's wedding dress and a backpack with a gun. He eventually left the rental agent and made his way to Sonia's apartment where he broke in and killed her. Losing a child is the hardest thing that I have gone through and I have to live with that for the rest of my life just because of their negligence.